Hey, this is Alice with HWC Science in Sunnyvale with Lisa Young. Today's topics are classes of organic compounds. This is Lisa Young with classes of organic compounds. Today we'll be covering carboxylic acids, esters, amines, and amines. These compounds are usually found in foods or every, in everyday necessities. So now we have on location the very, very famous Charles Inchel, the organic hunt, compound hunter, with assistant Janice Ho. To you, Charles. Hello, everyone. This is Charles Inchel. I'm the organic compound hunter. And this is my assistant, Janice Ho. And we're here at Safeway looking for your carboxylic acids. Yeah. Let's head inside. Where's Janice? All right, Janice, how about you tell our audience what the chemical formula is? C6H5. Cool. All right, let's go. Now we got here uh, perfectly, uh, let's pick a different one, a perfectly looking tomatoes. Now, these contain ascorbic acid. Now, how about you give them a little more details with that chemical oh, formula? C6H8O6. That's right. Nice job, Jens. Let's go on to our next one. Now we got a really real one that you only see under the right lighting. Okay, back to the apples. All right, Janice, let's give them some info. Apples have the leg acid. Now, well, the chemical formula is kind of confusing, but it's it's right around here. Yeah. All these foods are. Organic. See, the label for organic. 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 That that one's not organic, uh. Organic. The team searches for the next target. Citrus fruit. Here, you can see the organics in the produce section. Are you okay, Carl? Got your little critter. Yeah, I'm fine, Jess. How about you also tell us our audience what this is made of? Citric fruits have citric acid in them. That's right. And the chemical formula for this one is also... Actually, it's okay. <laughs> the team desperately searches the store for the next target, vinegar. Box like acid? Yeah, let's go. Formally got this credit, Janice. Now let's give him some info. The acid and vinegar is. And the chemical formula is right about there. Right about there. Alright. Let's let this one down there, Janice. <laughs> yeah, let's get this. Alright. <laughs>
After a long day's work, the team relaxes and enjoys the surroundings. Look, right there, like putting change in the fountain. <laughs> I'm gonna go take that change. <laughs> Good. Hey, guys, test the water, test the water. Ah. <laughs> that feels really good. Before we move on to our next area, let's review. Alright, guys, let's go inside and look for some carboxylic acids. You know, carboxylic acids are found in the carboxyl groups. They usually have a Q in their formula, you know, like, like, Q. The carboxyl end of the carboxylic acid is an electron rich end because both oxygen atoms have unshared electrons. So this makes it more polar, so it's more soluble in water. They're mostly found in foods. Alright now, let's go. Okay now guys, now we're riding and we're looking for esters. Janice, how about you tell our audience what an ester is? Sure, Charles. An ester is an organic compound similar to a carboxylic acid, but it has a hydrogen group instead of a hydrogen atom. That's completely correct. And also, an ester can be formed by an alcohol and a carboxylic acid. That's correct, too. Now, let's go look for some esters. Let's go! Charles, look! I finally found an ester! Good job, Janice! Esters usually make fragrances. Whoa, it smells like pineapple. 